Welcome to Product Review 2020. Welcome back to the Power Public YouTube channel. Thanks to everybody that's subscribed and turned on those notifications and also to giving us a thumbs up for our previous videos. We really appreciate it. Today's video, we're gonna be showing you some brand new products for 2020. These will get you guys all excited, ready to hit the track when they finally open. So without any further ado, let's get to it. So one of the Achilles heel of the PRD Galaxy was the radiator brackets. So new in 2020 from our friends at St. George Cart Center is alloy brackets. Now these are machined, fully machined and adjustable. As you can see, aluminium, been lightweight, race lightened as we call it here. And it's fully adjustable as in we can move it this way. We're gonna use a eight mil cap screw here to mount it to the chassis or say your rear bearing hanger. So if the length is wrong here for the angle of your radiator, you can just loosen these little screws off and they're all adjustable. Billet aluminium, it's all been machined up so it all fits together perfectly. It's gonna be super rigid. No chance of breaking these bad boys. So I think you'll rip the bearing hanger off before these break. So this new product is $139 RRP here in Australia and it's a great substitute for some of the other brands out there. So the next thing we're gonna run you through is the new PRD Racing Galaxy bottom end. Now this has been updated last year and we're gonna show you what the upgrades are to the crankcase and also to, we've got a brand new Conrod. So the new Conrod out is 102 millimeter between the centers. Now the little bit longer rod improves the angle of the conrod and the piston to the cylinder wall so you get longer piston life because there's not as much thrust into the cylinder walls. The little end of the conrod has been lightened as well and this is all to do with the sort of harmonics of the engine trying to get a smoother run out of the 125 because the Galaxy engine doesn't run a balance shaft like some of the other 125s that we go racing here in Australia. You might not be able to see it in the video but the edges are all ground down and we've got a bit more machining here in the little end as well, which we just touched on. So here we have the upgraded PRD Galaxy bottom end assembly. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bust it open and show you the updates on the inside. So you can see here we have the high-end needle roller bearings. Now these are traditionally only been used in the KZs before. Not many of the other 125s have something that expensive and slash, like I said, high-end. Now this is gonna give it improved longevity. We're calling almost double the life expectancy out of this over the standard ball bearing. So another one of the benefits of running a needle roller is you get a sleeve here for your crankshaft. So that is a hardened steel sleeve that presses onto the crankshaft and it greatly reduces the wear on your crank axles and obviously it's interchangeable too. So say so you did get wear on that, hard to believe, but you can take them off and refit brand new ones. Once again, we can see the, the billet conrod has been installed here on the, on the crankcase that comes supplied and fitted. You can buy this package here as an upgrade for your current engine, for about a thousand bucks here in Australia. So you can see here in the crank axle, we've got the big 20 millimeter crank pin. That bad boy is never gonna snap. That was a bit of an Achilles heel. So what I like to see about this company is they have problems that so they just iron them all out and eventually problem free, free racing. Another little feature from the PRD is the standard fitment of carbon fiber reed pedals. We have covered the PRD before on some of our videos. You can click that link up here and we are gonna be covering it a little bit more this year, 2020. When the track's open again, what we're gonna be able to do is we're gonna get ourselves a Galaxy, put it on a brand new Tony cart, and we're gonna be racing it in tag restrict. I think it's gonna be a cracking engine. They're a little bit lighter than the Rotax, doesn't quite have the bottom end, but I can guarantee you it's got the power. While we're on the subjects of the PRD, new and crazy exciting is its uh, upgrades to the clutch. So as you can see, we've got metal clutch shoes on metal clutch drum. Now both of these things have been engineered. They're both heat treated. There's a lot of science that's gone into the material choices. So what we're doing there is trying to get the best longevity. It's still got to perform excellent, but we're trying to get it to last a bit longer. 
because some of these things have given us some trouble before. There's no friction material here on the shoe, so we're not going to get clutch wear. Like I said, these have been hardened. There's a speed groove down there, so we get better bite with the shoe on the drum. What we call this is a trailing shoe. Now, the it won't give you the engine braking like it would if it was the other way around. However, we will get a little bit more free wheeling going into the corners, so there's less wear and less load onto the clutch under braking and going into the corners. So the last product we're gonna be looking at is a comparison between the two rib, rib protectors. We've got the Greyhound over here and we've got the all-conquering, super popular Bengio on my left. So I'm gonna run you through a couple of the differences here that I can see. And with the Greyhound, we have the splitter bar here in, in the rear and also two Velcro straps to adjust the height of the rib protector on your body. And also two on the front here, you've got a big Velcro strap. And also on this side, we have one too. So you've got a lot of adjustability to get the rib protector in the right spot. Another thing I like a lot about the Greyhound over the Bengio, both are fantastic by the way, is that you have this nice leather patch on the back Okay, and it's connected to the sh your shoulder straps. So you can um, flare your rib protector out or in depending on your body shape. That is a great addition, okay? Really good. Another thing I really like about the Greyhound is it's got this soft material, material edge. Whereas on the Bengio, which has always been a problem for me when I've worn it, is it's hard, man. These are hard, hard rib protectors. Great for some people but sometimes this hard edge can actually ride up and sort of start to cut into your body. So that's probably been one of my reservations about this particular rib protector for me. Whereas the, the Greyhound has definitely got that softer edge. It's also a little bit more contoured here under your arms. So if it does ride up, it doesn't cut in. That's probably one of the huge benefits. Another key feature for the Greyhound is this breathable material on the inside. And it's got the nice, uh, suede material on the outside so real high quality stuff the bengio is the current leader in the industry it has been the standard for many years it's super heavy duty if it fits you well you're going to love this thing you can pretty much take a cricket bat baseball bat depending on where you are in the world and lay into this and you're not going to feel a thing don't do that by the way we're just saying both these products are excellent the bengio has been the standard the greyhound the new standard. Both retail for about $300 here in Australia. So depending on your body shape, try them both on, pick the one that fits you the best. So there you have it, some new products in 2020. We'll, we'll bring out a couple of these every few months with some when we get some exciting new stuff. If you like the video, please give us a huge thumbs up. It really means a lot. Follow us on Instagram at Power Republic or go to our amazing website, www.powerrepublic.com.au and grab yourself a t-shirt and check out our racing rituals tutorial while you're over there. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.